So Esther worried about possession. She worried about non-physical energy possessing her. And so when she sat to meditate that first time and she felt detached from reality, she couldn't tell her nose from her foot. She didn't feel afraid. She only felt well-being. And she didn't really know what to make of it because she hadn't been given any instructions. She only knew that she liked it. In today's words, she would say, it felt satisfying in some way. And so she said to Jerry, they'd set the timer for 15 minutes. They were going to meditate for 15 minutes. She said, let's do it again. And Jerry said, all right. So he set the timer again and again. They meditated and Esther felt that sort of detachment, which she really liked. Never had experienced anything like it before. And then the timer went off and Esther said, let's do it again. And Jerry is thinking, here we go. Because Esther tends to be sort of all or nothing about most things. And now she's already so eager about this. So then they meditated every day for about nine months, for 15 or 20 minutes. And that very first meditation, Afterward, her teeth buzzed. They didn't chatter, they buzzed because she had allowed an energy or she had tuned to a frequency that was different than she had ever done before. And the result was a vibration within her that while it was a little unsettling because nothing like that had ever happened, she knew it had something to do with this whatever it was that felt so good. So she sort of started out in that easier way then for about nine months they meditated and nothing else like that happened because she was acclimating more and more and more and more and more to the energy and then after about nine months while she was meditating she felt her head moving and she said to Jerry as she realized she was spelling letters in the air because Esther is a translator of vibration into thought and so that's how it happened to her. And it was so gradual. But this is the part that we really want you to hear. Then, as they began receiving us, Jerry was so excited because he was getting answers to questions that he had been carrying around his whole life. And every day, new life experiences would cause him to ask more questions. And so he just couldn't get enough of conversation with Abraham. 